goodness, I'm so tired. Sorry if I made you yawn. I'm just like, whoa, I'm wiped out. <laughs> um, it's like probably almost one o'clock where I am. There's a helicopter flying overhead um, as per usual. The second I hit record, <laughs> there's a helicopter, which is like, wow, thanks. Anyway, I'm super, super nasally right now. I promise it's not the Rona. It's just me being um, unstable. <laughs> Uh, I spent the last like this is how this is it's gonna be so lame, but I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm just gonna be honest, right? Uh, I spent the last 45 minutes just like crying, like oh, like oh, I don't know why. I just you know you just lay down and like you just feel feelings, man, and it's just whoa. I mean, anyway, yeah, I'm fine. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about like maybe why i've kind of been feeling the way that i'm feeling um as it relates to art um because uh, a pattern that i have noticed in the last few i don't want to say weeks but a few months maybe even the last year is that um typically when i start to feel down um low energy uh, I kind of like spiral, right? So I'll feel down. I'll feel low energy. My cats are like destroying stuff in the room. It's fine. Um, and then I'll spend like a, a ridiculous excessive amount of time on social media. I don't really consider YouTube like a social media. I guess it kind of is, but um, I don't really consume like art content on YouTube, but I do look at artists on Instagram and um, I guess Tumblr to some extent and um, I don't know I get into this habit of really comparing my art uh, to other people's art and it's it's awful because it's it's like I don't know it's really like that whole that that quote that's um comparison is the what's it thief of joy is that what it is that's so real because it's like wow i you know i definitely feel like the more i look at instagram the more like jealous or envious i feel of other artists and it's it's really gross to say that like it's really gross that i can't look at another artist's work and be like dang i'm really proud of them do you know i'm really happy that that person is so talented and that they've worked really hard to get to be where they are you know I don't know why I can't like I mean sometimes obviously I'm like wow so that's that person's amazing and like for my friends I'm like wow they're amazing um but I guess when I look at like professional artists that are like accomplished and doing well I like cannot help but feel like so badly about my own stuff and it's like it's so dumb it's so dumb because it really does suck the joy out of what I do. Um, and then I start to get so unmotivated in other aspects of my life. Like I, I won't want to shower regularly and I won't want to eat good food. And I won't want to do, you know, I won't want to go on hikes or walks or anything. There's lots of dogs barking now. Anywho, I don't know. Oh my god, can you hear my goose? That's Miguel. She's mad at me. Because I didn't give her a piece of toast. But she's a goose and she doesn't need to eat toast constantly. It's like not good for their digestive systems. Anyway. So yeah, I don't know. I spent like 45 minutes crying. Because I was like, dang, I'll never amount to anything. But it's also like, so, like, what? <laughs> like, it literally doesn't matter. You know, if you enjoy drawing, it shouldn't matter. Um, if you're doing it professionally or not, you know. That's the other thing. It's like, I'm not doing it professionally. And I'm not seeking work in illustration anyway, so it's like, you can't even complain. The artists and stuff who, the artists and illustrators who have their work on um, the covers of books and were making comics and stuff, they work so freaking hard to get to where they are, you know? Like, there's, and I'm just doing things for fun. So, like, there is no, you can't compare that, you know? Um... And it's not to belittle making artwork for fun. That's also really important. 
and valuable. But it's different, you know? It's different. Anyway, I don't know. So today I was just kind of trying to break that cycle and I wanted to do something for fun. Uh, And that is what is right here. Um, I kind of was feeling like it was sort of supposed to be based off of Persephone, the Greek goddess. Oh my gosh, there's a cat and she's trying to like lick my eyeball. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't lick my eyeball. This is the most ridiculous recording voiceover. I'm so sorry. It's chaotic in here. Um, but yeah, so this is sort of based on uh, Persephone or post- I don't know how to say her name. Whatever. Uh, but I hope you like it. Um, I actually- you know what? You know what? Surprisingly, I did have fun while I was drawing this. I had a good time. Um, it was really fun to get all crazy with the florals, the loose florals. And you know what? I freaking love peeling masking tape off of paintings. I think that's my favorite thing. I think that might be one of the most satisfying things in the world. And as soon as I'm done uh, recording this, I'm going to go watch like 10 hours of peeling tape, peeling masking tape. I'm sure those videos exist and I know that I need those in my life and that my skin will be cleared if I find a 10 hour compilation. I'm going to listen to it as I go to bed. And yeah, here's the final piece. I hope you guys like it. Sorry this was like such a random video, <laughs> a weird conversation.